Luca tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Looker and I'm going over Looker and all its features. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Looker.com. So once you're over here, as you can see, this is the website and there are a lot of things going on over here. So let me just go over them a little bit. So right at the top, you have a request a demo option where you can request a demo to see how Looker works. But before that, let me just tell you a little bit about it. So if you scroll down below, we can see that we can use our data and and let it do the talking so basically we have modern bi and analytics basically serve up real-time dashboards for more in-depth consistent analysis access to trustworthy data enables to teams to collect fresh results for more precise reporting basically cca case study and then we have integration insights basically enhance the tool you're already using by infusing new relevant data unifying and empowering your teams to make more effective data informed decision basically car next door case study over here we can click on it and view the case study that has been done on this particular option and over here as well then we have data driven workflow so invigorate your workflows with fresh reliable data looker gives teams a unified access to answers they need to drive successful outcomes then down below we have future play case studies and we can also go over there as well then we have custom applications basically we can create custom apps that deliver data experience as unique as as your business and Looker's embedded analytics solutions from retail to healthcare gives your customers the data they need to get the job done. And then down below, we have Harvard case study. And over here, we have the product overview. So if I click on product overview, this is how the website looks like. And as you can see, we have this PDF over here. Now we can download this PDF and we can read it later but I'm not gonna go over them because we have a lot of different options over here on the left side. So we have Looker Overview, we have Embedded Analytics, Partners, Product Demo, Resource, and then down below we have Languages, we have Type, and down below Type we have Analyst Report, Customer Stories, Webinars, White Papers, then we have Events, Industries, and Departments, topics privacy and terms and many many more so we have a lot of things going on over here now let me go back to the main website over here we can see we have some fresh graphs that show some analytics of our product and stuff like that so we have tree maps we have combined charts we have sankeys we have donut multiples funnels maps and many many more so these are all the visualizations and if we want to see more visualizations we just simply click on see all visualizations and we'll be able to see how many there are so let me just go ahead and show you guys how many we're dealing with so it will take us to this website over here let it load a little bit so over here we have chore diagram we have tree maps sunburst table with subtotals we have liquid gauges we have collapsible tree diagrams and skanky as i said before then we have viz block over here basically we can see all the types of analytic blocks over here use cases industries and authors as well and that is it for here so basically if you choose whichever block you want whichever type of diagram or graph you want you can choose it over here and you can also choose the blocks and cases and industries and authors as well so let's just go ahead and check out the demo looker claims that they help over 2000 companies and find true power and choice in their data so we have moderna we have king we have twilo we have avant as well and over here we have secured governed single source trust for all and over here one platform for all quick time to value smart op smart operatings so now that we know a little bit about this website and how many features that it has it has a lot more features but i'm not gonna go over each and every single one because if i do that as you guys well know this video will be very very long so let's just go ahead and request a demo and see the full website so if i click on request a demo over here this page will pop up and over here you just simply have to fill out this form basically enter in your first and last name your business email your company name phone number and then your birth date so let's just go ahead and fill this out so when you have done that this is how the web page will look like basically they're thanking us for being curious 
go read to do more of your data. So I think we have requested a demo. Now we just have to wait for them to actually accept our demo. So while that happens now, I don't know how long that will happen or how long it'll take them for. So while that happens, we can check out some other events such as Looker events. We have customer stories and we have deploy in days, not months. So let's just look around their website. So over here at the top, we have product, then we have platforms, solutions, and learn. So underneath product, we have business intelligence, we have embedded analytics, we have applications, the looker difference, new features, visualization, security, and pricing. And then we have platforms and underneath platforms, we have a lot of different platforms such as data platform, data modeling, data actions, looker blocks, data connections, and looker for enterprise. And then for solutions, we have e-commerce media, we have SaaS, healthcare, gaming, fintech, and then we have departments as well. And then we have databases as well. So we have all these different options that we could go through. If we want to have a good understanding of analytics and stuff like that. Then we have learn and learn. We have user guides. So let's just go ahead and check out the user guide. Wait for the site to load up. So now they're asking us to sign in. So let's just go ahead and click on the sign in button to see if it'll give us an option to log in to sign up as well. So if I click on here, we can create a simple account. So let's just go ahead and create an account. So now we just have to enter in our first and last name, look our account email address, but we don't have that as well. But I think you can use a standard email address as well. So let's just go ahead and fill this out and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. And then we can sign in into Looker. So let me just go ahead and click on the sign in button and the email has not been verified yet. So let's just go ahead and verify our email first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will catch you guys in a second. So once you go over to your email address and verify your account, they are going to redirect you to this web page. And over here, you just simply have to select one of the options. So you have, I analyze and data report. I analyze and report data. I receive and act on data. I'm a developer. So I'm technically in neither one of these. So I'm just simply going to select, I'm a developer. So I'm going to submit and congrats. You're ready to start look ml developer learning journey so i'm going to go ahead and click on get started so what looker does with data so over here we can start these lessons and then we can move on to structure and creations of look ml project then we can move on to the third step creating explorers and then we have explorers and look ml so this is basically the look ml developer center we have data consumers as well and then we have the admin this this option is coming soon so i think i have to finish all these lessons but I'm not going to do that because these lessons are pretty long. And if I do it over here and the video is going to be probably over hour long or two hours long because this final one is a hour long and this one is 20, 40, and this one is also 10 minutes long. So basically if anyone who really has interest in data in data analytics and developers and stuff like that, this website is for them. And over here on the right side, we have some questions. So what are dimensions, practices, dimension fruits, and all these different questions and stuff like that. And then down below you have learning progress. This basically keeps track of all of your progress in the learning section, basically so that they can monitor how many lessons you've completed and stuff like that. And then you have the challenge. Once you have completed your lessons, you can take on these challenges and then you can find out if you truly have learned something from this test as well. And over here, this is what the community is talking about. So we have dash rooms and looks, we have early access programs, technical tips and stuff like that. And over here you can create dimensions and filter explorers and many, many more. So I'm sure that once you complete these tests, you will be able to understand what look ML developer is and what they basically do. So this is all very complicated. I'm sure I'm not qualified to handle this stuff, but I'm just over here to guide you through it. So signing up onto this website was a hectic in itself because when you come over here, you will not see a sign in or a sign up button. You just simply have a request demo option. And once you click on it, you basically request a demo meeting. You don't have to sign in. So you basically have to come over here in the learn section and in user guide, you will find the sign in option. And from there you will have to log in. I mean, they didn't have to hide it over there. They could have just added it in front of their website so that people can just simply join up instead of going through all the hassle of finding one so basically that is what looker is now basically i've showed you everything so 
if we go back to over here, we can also choose different options as well. So I'm pretty sure if I chose a different option instead of a developer, I would have a different lessons and tests over here. So make sure you choose the right options for your need so that you don't end up within a pickle like I am over here. So now I'm, I don't know if they're going to call me as a, for the meeting or not. I don't know what I'm going to tell them that I was just over here exploring this website, but I think we're all good. That is it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and also turn on post notification, guys, because that way you'll not miss out on future videos that we do on this channel. We almost upload daily so that you don't have to worry about content running out. And we upload videos about websites like these and softwares or other programs that can help you understand your business, scale your business or grow your business or earn money however you can. And all these websites and programs are legit they aren't hoax they aren't like other websites where they're fake and the people are just trying to make videos on it to earn money these are actually genuine working websites so that's why we talk about these websites so that people can know about them and they can grow their businesses and so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye